Hi everyone, we're gonna do a little unboxing today as part of the gift box that I received earlier in the week. I was sent a mini version of the Forest Fay Oracle and so I thought we would do an unboxing of that together today. So this is published by Rockpool Publishing and it's by Nadia Turner. And it says, Curious Messages of Enchantment on the front. Enter the forest, seek wonder and enchantment, and hear the curious messages of the forest fae. This set of 40 magical cards invites you to delight in your imagination and spark joy and inspiration. Go beyond the boundary between this world and that to escape your way into the forest and to magic. So I love the font, number one, and I love this little illustration right there. So I'm very intrigued to work with this. So let's see what we think. Aww. Okay, so there's a little like how to on the box here. Inside is brown, really nice earth tones going on. Oh my God, the backing is so cute, guys. Deck is adorable. Look at that. It's so cute. Very shiny. No gilded edging. Um, they're definitely slippery. The soothsayer. Travel the road seldom taken. To the greenwood. So there's definitely keywords that you can use. I like the old one. Oh my god, this deck is so cute. The green maid. So if you're wanting to work with fey energy and you want kind of a softer way in, you know, as you're adjusting like something between Wild Wisdom of the Fairy and Brian Froud's Fairies Oracle, I think this would be a beautiful way to kind of bridge that gap. Here's the wild god. So if you're someone who's messaged me recently because you're feeling the call to work with the, the fey, this may really be a deck that works for you. The Silent One, watch the shifting shadows and be a caretaker of silence. Oh my God, I love this one, guys. Look at that. It's beautiful, huh? <clears throat> oh, it has such like a soft, you know what it reminds me of? It's like a little spring, like a, 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 wood, a spring out in the middle of the woods. It's just like kind of trickling over some stones, right? It's It has a very soft energy. It's inviting. It's um, reminiscent of the Favore, which I talk about whenever I talk about the Fae. So if you're looking to connect with them, you might find that this deck gives you um, a key to step through that doorway, to unlock that door, as it were. It's very sweet, and I can see how it the imagery really works for the card size, like any more than this, and it would feel too cluttered. But this gives you the feeling of fey beings without overwhelming you with a lot going on in the imagery. So if you do find the fairy's oracle too dense, like symbol wise and in busyness with what's happening in the picture, then you might really like this deck more. I love that griffin one, that's beautiful. And we have a gatekeeper here. Oh, I love this sentinel card. This reminds me of um, where the wild things are. <laughs> That's what it is. This deck really gets me in, in, in touch and tune with my inner child. Okay, that's what the feeling is that I'm that I'm getting while I'm looking at this. You know, I would definitely still say for me, like the fairy's oracle is where it's at, but I'm definitely going to use this. And I think also in readings, this will be very nice as a blessing deck to kind of give a, a, a blessing to finish a reading or to add kind of a cap to an aspect of the reading that I want to clarify. And I'm going to stop here because I do want to leave a few up to 
your imagination so that you can enjoy that. I will say that there are a few that I really like in these last ones. I wish I had started there, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, so this is the Forest Fay deck. I'm sure you all are like Racine. How have you not had this deck before? Thank you so much to my wonderful tarot friend who sent this to me. Um, but I wanted to open it with you because it's it hasn't, you know, it hadn't even been opened yet, and it just seemed like it would be nice to share together. So this is super cute. I think it's perfect for the size, and I think it has a very again soft voice and a voice of the woods for sure. Obviously, it's called Forest Bay. But I think it will be nice to spend some time with it in a quiet manner myself. Actually, similar to like Earthbound Oracle, which is a deck that I just come to love more and more and more over the years. I should do a video on that, actually. And I'm, I'm going to do a video soon on um, decks that surprised me. One of you requested that, and I was like, oh my god, yes. So I will be doing kind of like a compendium video on decks that like surprised me or blew me away in unexpected ways, etc. So who knows, maybe this deck will be on that list. But I'm sending you all much love and many blessings. I'll see you in the next video.